Just got the two o'clock advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Helene is still a category one hurricane with sustained winds of 80 miles an hour, but it is strengthening. Take a look at this satellite image of Helene. It's moving to the north northwest at 10 miles an hour, and as it continues to do so, it will continue to strengthen. The forecast from the National Hurricane Center calls for this to be a cat two by tonight, eight o'clock with sustained winds of 100 miles an hour. From there, it will continue to strengthen into a category three hurricane with sustained winds of 120 miles an hour by Thursday morning. And as of right now, the forecast says that it will be a strong category three hurricane with winds of 125 miles an hour at landfall. By the way, that is a strong category three, and we won't rule out the possibility that it could continue to strengthen. So we might even have a category four hurricane at landfall too. something that we are watching closely. Landfall anywhere from Perry to Panama City, perhaps passing over places like Apalachicola and Tallahassee before it continues to move to the north. So landfall to the west of the first coast, but that does not mean that we are in the clear. We will still have impacts. One thing we're watching coastal flood alerts, which means we will have some flooding possible at times of high tide. Thursday high tide anywhere from 426 PM for St. Simons Island all the way down towards 1142 PM for Palatka. Rainfall totals two to five inches with locally higher amounts, meaning that we could have some street flooding possible so for the winds. We'll notice the gusts start to pick up by Thursday afternoon and then overnight Thursday night. Wind gusts could be up to around 60 miles an hour closer to Lake City. 70 even 80 mile per hour wind gusts are possible and then notice by Friday morning and Friday afternoon they will start to relax a bit. So let's just go county by county and take a look at what we are expecting for Duval County. The wettest time period 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. The windiest 5 p.m. to 5 a.m. Gusts of 60 miles an hour, isolated tornadoes possible. We could have some flooded roadways out there. St. John's and Flagler County, you will also have gusts of 60 miles an hour with isolated tornadoes and the possibility of some flooded roadways. Then for Glen, Camden and Nassau County, also the possibility of a surge, a storm surge of two to four feet. Plus, you have the possibility of the wind gusts, the flooded roadways, and the isolated tornado threat. Then for Clay and Putnam County, gusts to 60 miles an hour, isolated tornadoes, and the possibility of flooded roads. Baker, Union, Bradford, and Columbia counties. This is where gusts could be at or above 75 miles an hour. That is flying debris. That is very dangerous. Be prepared for power outages. Same story for Ware, Charlton, Brantley, and Pierce County. Counties be aware of gusts of 75 miles an hour, dangerous winds and be aware of some power outages for you all as well. We will be here through the entirety of the storm, keeping you updated with each new update and advisory that we get from the National Hurricane Center. So make sure to stick here for your latest updates. Don't forget you can catch us as well online and on our app.